National Five Biologists, let's do this past paper question together. So question 11 says, the diagram represents a blood capillary passing through the body cells of a mammal. Okay, and we can see that capillary here, and we can see the body cells that surround that capillary. Part A says, name a gas that is transported in the direction shown. Okay, so that's from the body cells into the capillary. By the arrow in the diagram and name this method of transport. So our cells, we're looking for a substance that our cells produce that then enters the blood and gets taken away. So that substance is carbon dioxide, okay? We know that our cells during aerobic respiration produce carbon dioxide. And so how does that get from here to here? Well, it will be in a high concentration in our body cells because we'll be undergoing a lot of respiration and a low concentration in the blood, okay? So it's going to move via diffusion. Okay, part B, give a feature of a capillary network that increases the efficiency of absorption of materials. Now this again is a common question in the exam and there are three stock answers that you need to memorise so you can give them in the exam. So the first one that you could say is it has thin walls. The second one you could say is that it has a large surface area. Now you can't say this one for this particular question because it's referring to the capillary, but um, generally a, a feature that increases the efficiency of absorption of materials in other places in the body is the fact that it has an extensive blood supply. But because the capillary itself is a blood supply, you can't use that example for this question, okay? So either thin walls or a large surface area would be acceptable there. Okay, folks, hope that's helped. See you in the next one.